2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Genesis Scottish Open is about to kick off. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. Luke Elvey here alongside Rich Beam at the beautiful Renaissance Golf Club on the Scottish Gulf Coast, Rich, and this is a strong opener. It is. Scorecard yard, card yards is 465 yards. You have to avoid that bunker down the left-hand side off the tee. You find the fairway, it opens up the green. It kind of sits caddy corner to the players for their second shot. Can't wait to get into the action. Very excited to see how this player fares today. Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. <laughs> well, what are we looking at with their approach shot, Rich? Green sits slightly above the players. There's bunkers dotting the front left and one just front right. If they do throw it to the left and long, it will come down a pretty good sized slope back onto the center of the green. Oh, stop it. What a shot. Always nice to have a birdie putt. Oh, nice looking putt. Well, that's a lovely way to get going. They've already started this event under par. Making birdie in the first always puts you in a good frame of mood. It'll be fun to watch the round progress. And as we head to the second, Rich, the players heading back towards the first tee. Strong par four here, just under 500 yards. There's a bunker down the left-hand side you must avoid if you want a clear opening for your second shot. Narrow fairway up there, a good tee shot's a must. That should find the cut stuff. Henny, what's the player facing here? Yeah, he's about 155 from this whole location. Opting for the 9 iron. This looks to be hit pretty well from where I'm standing. A wonderful shot and a chance for Purdy here at the second. No surprise to see Colin Morikawa have a few more highlights. Let's take a look at this one. I got to say, this is a 10 on the scale. Wonderful effort. Let's return to live play now. Oh, five footer. It's amazing how tour pros hold these. This for back to back birdies. Ooh, a couple of birdies on the bounce. Look who's on a roll. Gotta like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. Nicely played. Moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole. As we head to the third hole, Rich, uh, one of the very good scoring opportunities here at the Renaissance Club. Yes, Luke, just about 600 yards or so. Players must hit it out to the left-hand side with their tee shots. Anything right is going to go into a huge cluster of trees where they're going to have all kinds of problems. Now this one looks to be heading down the runway.
Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. Okay, steady now. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Four feet to the cup. And down it goes. And now at three under overall. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. And as we take a look at the fourth hole, the shortish par four, Rich. Yes, just around the 415-yard mark, players who take out driver and drive it up into the narrow section of the fairway will get a really good look with their second shots. Oh, that was mashed. <laughs> Nothing like a bit of momentum here, Rich. This one's going for another birdie. It's a good start to the day. Let's hope they can keep up the good form. Well, this one's right at the pin. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? An opportunity for a birdie here. And that's their fourth birdie of the day. And with that, he'll move to four under par. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. The fifth hole, Rich, a really good risk-reward short four. Most players, Luke, should go for this short par four, but watch out for the green because this green has got all kinds of danger on it. Twist, turns, bobs, weaves, ducks, it's got it all. That might not have found the green there, Rich, but that is a brilliant play right up on the fringe. Setting themselves up for a birdie, hopefully an eagle. Mark it down, that's birdie number five. And with that, he'll move to five under par. Well, that was a positive hole. A little shift up the leaderboard, well played. And the first of our short holes here at the Renaissance Club, Rich, is the par three sixth. Oh, this is a nasty little part of three dotted by some pot bunkers on the front part of it. A big one over there on the right hand side. Club selection is imperative. Tell you what, they've got their rhythm going there. That's another green in reg. It has been fantastic to watch all week long. This player is dialed in. Putting for birdie here. This is a good chance. Well done. Take the birdie. And that will take him to six under. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage.
And the seventh on the card, Rich, our second of the uh, opening nine par fives. Yeah, look, a fairly generous driving area. There's just a couple of bunkers you have to worry about. However, you find the fairway. Now your chances of making birdie or better increase significantly. Yeah, that one will play. That's a good looking shot there. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? Setting up this putt nine feet from the cup. Like the look of this one. That's a great putt and an eagle as well. And that will take him to eight under. He's sharing 13th place. And Rich, as we face the eighth hole, what kind of decisions do the players face off the tee? Well, most players aren't able to carry those fairway bunkers basically right in the middle of the fairway. So they have to lay up with a three wood or less, find the fairway that cambers pretty significantly from left to right. Pretty good shot there. Now heading over to Tiger Woods. Second shot here. That one was definitely worth another look. Outstanding. OK, let's get back to it, shall we? Time for the second shot at the eighth. Going with the pitching wedge here. This one might need to sit. Nicely done. Seven feet to the cup. Yes, they've made it. Now five strokes behind. The ninth is a strong par three reach, one of the longer ones. It is. There's some bunkers on the right-hand side that you absolutely must avoid. If you miss it on the left-hand side, however, you've got to pitch uphill to a green that will slope away from you. A par here is a really good score. I nice shot that. That should find the surface. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. A spot in the top ten awaits if they can make this putt. Ouch, that hurts. Putting for a par here. And well hold. Let's move on. He's in a share of 12th place. As we begin the second nine, Rich, the uh, back nine starts with a par five. And a par five that players should be looking to take advantage of. Just tee it up and hit it as hard as you can. Fairway is wide open. Does camber from right to left. So don't get too frisky down that left-hand side. Yep, give yourself a pat on the back.
A big, bold play, and it almost paid off. Close to the surface. Let's see if they can get it up and down. It's an aggressive play, Luke. Like to see it on this par five. Always nice to hold those for birdie. That's a good way to move into the top ten. Currently at ten under par overall. Rich, I know this next hole is one of your favourites, the 11th here at the Renaissance Club. This is one of the coolest holes I've ever played, Luke. It's a dog leg from left to right, fairly generous teeing area. Don't want to miss it too far right, however. But the second shot into the screen, this could be the coolest green I've ever seen. It's got more movement than any other green I've seen in competition. I absolutely love this hole. Playing from around 190 yards out. Four strokes off the lead. Looks to be going with the six iron. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. A wonderful shot. A chance for Bernie here on the 11th. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. This looks good. Good putt, that. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. Now four back after that hole. The 12th, Rich, uh, par three, just over 200 yards on the card. You back uphill just a little bit. What really makes this hole difficult, Luke, though, is when the wind is coming directly in the player's face. When that happens, ooh, watch out. This hole is a doozy. Okay, that'll work. Spot the top five on the line here. Always nice to hold those for a booty. I will take that also into the top five now. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Another beautiful hole ridge, this one right along the coast, the 13th. Oh, this is breathtaking off the tee, isn't it? But don't let the views suck you in. Even though it's a wide fairway, you got to heat it down the right-hand side as this fairway pitches significantly from right to left. Find the fairway and happy days. Wonderfully played. That one should find the surface. Oh, that's a great approach shot. Let's move one step closer to the lead here. This putt for a share of four. Beautiful shot. Sitting at minus 13 for the tournament. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Teeing off now on this par three. That dog will hunt. Never seen a school car that doesn't look good with a two on it. Oh, you know you want to. That's a good putt to make. That sets the great players from the good ones. Well, I think that warrants another look. Let's see that again. What an amazing putt from way out.
He's currently tied for second. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. Welcome to the T of a par four. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Sitting up here from about 155. Terrific shot into the 15th and a chance for birdie. And this putt to move to 15 under par. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. What a putt, started this perfectly. And that's for birdie. Well hold. He's currently in the second position. Just a few holes remaining in the round. The 16th hole, one of the last true birdie chances, Rich. It is. Tee it high and let it fly there, Luke. Don't go down the left-hand side and find any of those bunkers. Hit it down the right-hand side, and you got to believe you're going to make, at worst, a birdie four. Yep, that'll work. That's fine. And Henny, what's he facing with this one? Setting up this one, hitting into a downhill green. They might be taking a bit less club here. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. That was special. This putt for top spot on the leaderboard. Oh, that's a ripper. Well, what a way to make a move to the top of the leaderboard. Now leading by one shot. All right, Rich, the 17th. This is an amphitheater-style green. All sides kind of work back towards the green. There is a little front-left section, though. When they put the flagstick over there, you have a really good opportunity to hit it in there close. This one's going right at the pin here. That was a beauty. Why don't we catch up with what Tiger Woods is up to? What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Just got to use the touch of a feather. Barely has to blow on it. This is just downhill. This has a real chance. Oh, how about that one? And what a way to jump into the top ten. And back to the course with the live action. This putt's about four feet from the hole. Yeah, this is looking nice. Oh, he's on fire today, building upon his lead, hole after hole. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Here, Rich, how is this 18th at the Renaissance Club? This is an absolute brute, Luke, just under 500 yards, and you must find the fairway. You cannot geek it down this hole off the tee. There is danger both left and right. And what are we looking at here, Henny? Yeah, he's about 155 from this hole location. Well, good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. Oh, that one's absolutely stiff. Just a tiny putt is all that remains. 